vision of just what we're working on today instead of me. My kitchen is a pigsty, so that's what we're doing is I'm hiding it today. Uh, I'm doing these frozen burritos is what we're going to try today. I'm, um, I already cooked them. I just put them in the microwave like what the directions say. And the reason I cooked them, they would have been fine, I'm sure, if I'd just done them from the frozen from the frozen status and just you know cut them like I'm going to and put them on the tray. However, I believe in thermophiles. I'll put a link to thermophiles. Um, I have a microbiology and biophysiology degree um, and background. And um, heating them and cooking them to the manufacturer's recommendations protects against thermophiles, which to put it succinctly is germs that and bacteria and whatever that can live outside of the extremes of temperatures. So even though it's been in the freezer, they can still have some kind of, of something in there. So when you heat it up and you cook it the way the manufacturer wants you to, you get rid of those. So that's what we're doing is I've heated this burrito up to how the, the manufacturer told me to on the side of the packaging and then I'm going to freeze dry it. Okay, so I literally have just taken this out of the microwave. Um, I'm just gonna cut this sucker in half. That's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna lay them on the trays. And I have, there's eight per packet. And I didn't go until they were bubbly like I normally like them because I like my burrito's guts coming out. But I didn't do that with this one because I knew I was gonna freeze dry it and I wanted less of a mess. So as you can see, they're literally just a meat and bean burrito. They're the frozen ones. I get them at Costco, you can get them at Walmart, Winco, Super One, I'm sure it's Sam's Club or whatever. And I will get some more and put them in. And this is how we're gonna put them. And then in the next one, I'm gonna put them into the freeze dryer and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna reconstitute them or eat them or use them in our food storage. Okay guys, thank you. And today, and now we're back. I've done the burritos. I did them in half. Now this is my tester. I always break one in half. So I can test it, make sure it's nice and cold inside. This was also the thickest one that was on here. And I tested it and it is done. I also did some smaller quarter pieces as I was um, preparing it so I wouldn't waste the space. And I also had eight burritos to do from the package. So I can fit eight burritos on a tray. And, um, and then, so that's four packages. And so these actually work out great. Again, it's more for like a, a chippy flavor, kind of a snack. I'm gonna have Riker try one again. He's my video guy today and um, I'm gonna try one as well and we're just gonna kinda check it out and see what we think. So these would package great for like a snack um, in a, one of the Ziploc bags or to take on a dirt bike trip or camping, hiking, send to school as like a snack. Um, they also just reconstitute really well for the end of the world, which is what we're all preparing for. Um, but yeah, these are great. I don't have the ones that have the cheese in them because I don't like the way that the cheese reconstitutes in these. They have like a, it's almost like a waxy aftertaste when you taste them, but the meat and bean one is really good. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments and don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks you guys.